Lift his legs, lift his legs. He's not breathing, he's not breathing. And what up, what up, what up? What's good with y'all? So, as y'all can see, your boy's still in the bed at the crib. Uh, you probably hear computer typing music in the background. It's because the Rona got my girl here working at home. I definitely ain't about to sit here all day. Uh, it's time to get up. And let's go ride or do something. Just gotta get the, out the house. And I don't know if y'all ever seen my cat, but you feel me? We got a white dog, got a white cat. This is pot right here. Hey, why you smacking me, yo? Here, let me let me give you some love. This is this is pots. This is pots. Little pots. All right, go ahead. Get up out of here. <laughs> Anywho. We actually finally got some clear skies out here. It's been raining all week with the corona shit. So finally got some clear, uh, good weather. So I'm for sure about to get up and go ride. I got some new gear and stuff that I'm about to show y'all. I ain't trying to turn pink when I fall. So finally got some riding shoes. You know, these have the, the pattern right here. Hella stiff, firm. So these are, uh, I'm gonna try these out today. And then y'all already seen my jacket I got from Psycho Gear. This jacket is dope though. Like when you look at it, you can't tell it's actually, you know, padded and everything. When you're just wearing it regular. And it's actually pretty comfortable. It doesn't feel hella heavy. So really love this jacket. This is also part of my gear. And then next up, I got these these little pants right here. These are all padded. <clears throat> these are over pants though. They go over your like jeans, sweats, or whatever. I wasn't trying to be out here with the crotch hugger, so I got these that way I can ride comfortably and stuff. They got the the ass the ass cushion right here, some ass padding and stuff on the back, so my ass ain't gonna turn pink. Then y'all already seen these Harley gloves. I'm probably gonna return these because these shits were hundred bucks and they don't even like they got a little bit of like hand padding, but nothing crazy. But when you look at the fingertips, like bro, I can't even control my my damn iPhone from here. So these are overpriced for for what they are. So probably gonna be returning these. These are actually f sick. Like I like the way these feel. Uh, the the sliders on the bottom of them are super firm. So if you do go down, these feel like they protect your palm a lot. And another plus side to it is it actually has, you know, the little grip for your or the little padding. That way you can control your iPhone or or whatever device you're using. So these are pretty dope. I'm probably gonna use these today and try these out. But I also have uh, these right here and these ones they they're huge like when you physically look at them they look hella big looks like the the thanos hand but these have a lot of padding and cushioning on them also uh the slider right here is carbon fiber but the sick part about these are they're actually heated gloves so if it's hella cold out you just hold this button bam now the gloves will start activating and they'll get hot that way you know if you ride at night or whatever so you got the highest setting then you got like a cool setting or medium or whatever then you have the low whatever order it is and then you just hold it to cut it back off finally got my bike helmet finally i know y'all song i need to get a real helmet so finally after trying on like three helmets and sending them back i finally got a helmet that actually fits this is the hjc c uh the cl17 I really wanted one with a drop down sun visor, but unfortunately with my head shape and my dreads, this is the only one that came in a size that would fit my head. So the natural oval, like oval helmets they usually sell, like don't work for me. So I need more of a, a round helmet and it needs to be, you know, big for 60, I want to say 67 centimeters with, you know, around my hair and everything. So I'm going to be trying this out for the first time today see how this feels. I'm definitely going to be loving that I have uh, vents and stuff now. So we'll see how see how this works out with riding how the vents work because mother helmet didn't have vents at all so i'm gonna try on all this try on all this and ride with us today and see how everything feels we're all geared up just about ready to rock but uh quick little walk around of things that you guys didn't see that i had done uh didn't really feel like vlogging was the the rear mud flap or mud guard i should say so added the rear mud guard it's the aftermarket one so it looks pretty sick on here and i also 
decided to add an undertail to it and then already wired all the lights in so the LEDs and everything work so yeah undertail is definitely a sick little addition to it Just pulling up to my boy Lex house. I am now recording on the Pee Pow Poo Poo little mini GoPro. These gloves feel super cool. Definitely loving the way these gloves feel. Way better than the Harley ones. I can fiddle with stuff. Gotta make a license plate bracket because when I did the undertail, I didn't put the bracket back on. So I'm gonna try to figure out something. Um, I still wanna weigh in here. So I'm kind of thinking of making L brackets off of these two and then just having it right up in there in the back and then having it tilted down still but uh, I don't know I gotta see real quick I gotta see what material we have and then I can get to making something real fast and I think the other day they actually finished up his vert so I know he needs to do break in on it they just had the motor everything rebuilt uh, new OEM turbo on it so I know he needs to break this thing in I don't know if he's gonna uh, drive it today or not Cola What's up? You gonna leave me hanging? What you back here doing, kid? Oh man, being Nick Genuitive. You know what I'm saying? I found some of this bull and um, yeah. Stop cussing on my channel, All yo. Right, my bad, yo. Getting me demonetized. Man, See how many cuss words I had to bloop out in the last video? I just be trying to be myself, man. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, but nah, I think. Um, we use these, so they'll do the oo-wop, and, um, and then I hate because it's hella big, but we'll just put the plate on there and cut out the stuff that ain't needed. Nah, just leave it alone. So you just want an erector set sitting on You ain't on even the... gonna see it. I'll know it's there. So? Paint it black. No. You be alright. I got black paint. I do. <laughs> F. <laughs> Bracket all done. Little whoop. So, you know, when you get ready to hit the toe, reach back, whoop, <laughs> Look at this man. He got the full combat boots on. You know, Mike went ahead. These is my combat boots. These is combat boots, yo. These is Alpine Star SMXs, bro. Mike over here, look, show them all your goddamn gear, man. No, I got peasant gear, though. You got that, you got the real. It's actually hindering my swag. You got because I'm the squid god. I'm the freshwater squid, right? <laughs> I don't like to ride with my gear on, but now he over here geared out, so now I gotta ride with gear on, or I'm gonna look like the eye man out. Well, he got the rollerblade straps. <laughs> Hell yeah, keep your ankle intact, B. 
got me out here putting on gear gear. <laughs> Nigga Scorpion. He got that old school Undertaker outfit on. Get over here! You mother ready to ride? <laughs> he got the WrestleMania. He said, I look like you Scorpion. I told you, you look like Scorpion. You need your mouth. Where's your little... Yeah, you need... Yeah, that's what you need. Oh, it's in the, it's in the uh, other car. I'm okay, but I'm in the bush. I was like, oh no, 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 death! <laughs> yeah, nah, I'm, a, I'm all right. Yeah, it started understeering on me. Holy shit! I'm so it, glad you're okay, nigga. You didn't hear me turn around and come back for you? I did. Ah, oh, look, here goes somebody else coming to help. Like, ah, oh, this nigga died, yo. You guys all right? Yeah, I'm all good. Thank you. Okay, come on. <laughs> Holy smoke. You're okay. Bruh. Yeah, I was like, fuck it. I was like, I'm going to ride up the hill before I crash into this tree. You nigga had an I-5 diesel runoff. <laughs> I'm so glad you're okay. God damn. Yo, because I stopped right up there and I turned around. I'm like, where this nigga go? How the fuck am I? Just, just roll straight back. Oh. <laughs> We're good. Let's get you out this bush before rollers come. <laughs> All right. Hold on. We're just gonna lift it and pull it over sideways. Ready? Yeah. Let's do what? <laughs> oh my god! Oh. You, you good? You can just roll straight back. You ready? Nigga need a. Hold on. The other one's left. Turn left. Yeah. We just need a machete. We need to start riding with Jamaican fucking with me. <laughs> this nigga blazing a trail that ain't been gone before. <sighs> Alright, hold on. Let me move this off the way. Oh! Oh, I was like, blood. We weren't even going fast. Please don't tell me this nigga understeered. I thought you went that way. <laughs> this is the area we used to race in. My boy and Chad went off of a road, hit a tree, backflipped. It's like a 20 foot uh, gorge. Oh! Woo! <laughs> nah, it started under. When I started understeering, I was like, oh, f I'm not gonna make it. And I was like, well, instead of hitting the trees, I'm like, I'm gonna run up the hill. No, that was great. You chose a <laughs> soft spot to land. Always choose a soft spot to land. So I'm so glad you went right here. So look, your eyes will move your body and you don't know it. Even if you get scared, this is the road, don't look that way. Because what happened, how mild this turn is, you were unsure of the lean and you looked at an exit before you looked at achieving. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So your eyes are the biggest key proponent of making the bike go around the corner. Look in the turn, always. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully, hey, hopefully the bike is still good. No, you're fine, dude. This is this is best case scenario for your first fantastic voyage. 
Golly, man. He's scaring the shit out of me, bro. Oh, you just pulled your headlights out. Huh? You just pulled your headlights out. Where? The low beam or the high beam? Well, well, we'll get through here. You're fine. <laughs> you see why I said I didn't want you to get the extravagant plastics yet? And you still haven't failed. So don't worry about it. It's gonna happen again, but just relax. Don't make those mistakes again. Look yourself all the way through. Don't look and say, oh, it don't feel right. Where am I gonna go? Cause you're gonna go there now. I'm gonna go through. Lift his legs, lift his legs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lift the legs. He's, not he's not breathing, he's not breathing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You can do this, please. Come on, don't do this. You have a grandkid on the way, please. He's fighting, he's fighting. Come on. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Come on, hon. Hey, Lex, come on, GoPro off for me. Come on, hon. Yeah, cut that. That shit crazy, bro. Was good just got back home um yeah um, fuck i don't even know where to start so yeah after the crash um or when i ran up the, the shit you know could have been a lot worse but obviously uh everything's cool i'm all good not hurt or nothing uh fingers everything perfectly fine i didn't even get a scratch so uh for the most part i'm i'm all i'm all good but uh y'all seen the second half of that right after that we you know we're riding and then we came across you know that clip uh i i didn't even want to put you know all of it in there that's why you know it's just that that piece i mean hopefully hopefully that dude's okay you can see his uh wife or friend i'm not sure who that was but she was giving cpr so um as we're going back down we've seen you know the the firefighters and everything coming up so i mean you know, if y'all if y'all watching this, pray for that dude. You know, prayers for for that dude, his family. Everything's cool. Nothing's wrong with the bike. Little little scuffage on the fairings, but nothing crazy. It looks more like mud than anything. The bike's perfectly fine. Rode it. Only thing is this: the clutch lever uh, came off, but this came off like at the end. So I'm gonna put a new screw in here. Everything should be should be fine. Not sure why it came off, but. I'll get that back together. That's no big deal. That's just the the screw just came out. So yeah, I'm about to I'm about to do that and then fuck, man. I don't even know what else to do with this vlog. That shit was just yeah. We uh we just gonna we gonna call it here. So until until next time, yo. I've been going too crazy. These niggas too shady. Speed limit sixty five.